Today we're going to be replacing a PCV valve on a Saturn View. This is a 2007 model. Now the PCV located uh, on a Saturn View 2007, this is a 3.5 litre V6, is, you see the oil dipstick there, you see this little nut right there, 10 millimetre bolt, it's this right here. There's a little plastic plate just behind it that's black. So this is the bolt here that we're going to be undoing. Okay, the first thing you want to do is remo remove the oil dipstick. There's not much room when you're working, so you don't accidentally want to snap the top off that. Next, you want to get a 10 millimeter bolt on this bolt right here. There's only one bolt. With the bolt removed, we can now slide out the old PCV valve. With the old one removed, it's a good idea to visually inspect the parts to make sure your replacement part is of the same size, length, and uh, every which way, because that will be going in. If you look at the old part, um, a little oil is normal. Um, there is a way to test these, but it, you can't really blow down it because uh, that's not a very good test for these valves. The idea is to connect it into the system and see if it has a vacuum on one end, but to be honest, they're like five, ten dollars uh, if it's a dual replacement. Mm, we'll say sixty thousand miles to a hundred thousand miles, depending on the vehicle. It's a good idea just to replace it uh, for a five to ten dollar part. It can cause a lot of damage. The idea is your crankcase stores so much pressure from when the cylinders fire. There's some blow by that comes uh, from around the cylinders, and this builds up pressure in the engine. The idea of this is to release that pressure as the vacuum pulls the pressure out and gets recycled back into the system, back into the cylinders. So if this is clogged up, this pressure is either going to come out through the seals, you might have an oil leak, uh, you might experience rough idle, rough performance. So for a five ten dollars part, if you know it hasn't been replaced and you'd roughly due, then I would just replace it. So um, uh, assembly is just the reverse of disassembly and uh, you'll be back on the road in no time. I've put the part in the description below, so uh, check it out. Thanks for watching.